Hi, my name is Anna Young Chung. I'm going to present my project called Hong Kong Hum. So, who am I? I was born and raised in Hong Kong until 17 years old. I'm a professor in a small college called Manhattanville College in Purchase, New York. I'm a microbiologist in training. And I found an NGO in Washington, D.C. in 2019. It's called Hong Kong Democracy Council, and it's a 501c3 organization. And I'm also a founder and currently still a convener of a community-based organization called NY4HK, New Yorkers Supporting Hong Kong. I have been an activist for over 25 years. So to give you a little bit background of my activism job that led to the idea of the Hong Kong Hub. It started in 1989, the Tiananmen Massacre in Beijing. In Hong Kong, there was one of the largest valley, and I happened to be there in the summer. And it planted a seed in my heart and my mind that I need to do something for Hong Kong. A few years later, when I arrived in New York, for my postdoc job, I met some activists here and I started to volunteer for some of the Hong Kong politicians and NGOs. Then in 2014, there's a, one of the largest student movement called Umbella Movement. There were some students and professionals here would like to have a local New York group so we start the New York Curse Supporting Hong Kong and we host rallies, demonstrations and different forum events until now. And in 2019, there's another movement called Anti-Extradition Movement. And I started the NGO in Washington, D.C., the one that called Hong Kong Democracy Council, and I serve as the board president from 2019 to 2021. We mainly did a lot of the lobbying and supporting some of the bills for Hong Kong. Then in 2020, there's an establishment of the national security law in Hong Kong, including secession, subversion, terrorism, and collusion with foreign force. Anybody who commit this law will be sentenced to five years plus to even life sentencing. So, the valleys and largest demonstrations stopped in Hong Kong after the establishment of the national security law, so as the support from the overseas Hong Kong diasporic communities. So, it led to the idea that I would like to establish a community center for Hong Kong called Hong Kong Hub. So the mission is to provide a safe, welcoming space, experience, and other resources for the promotion of democracy and human rights in Hong Kong, and to empower and connect the Hong Kong diasporic communities through Hong Kong style food, culture, and education. The value proposition to cultivate a shared space and make available information for Hong Kongers in the States, newcomers from Hong Kong, and others to create a network of support for Hong Kong. The customers or the clients of a Hong Kong hub will be the local Hong Kongers in New York City, newcomers Hong Kongers, including the youngsters, students, professionals, and exiles, other communities in New York City here, Tibetan groups, Uyghurs, Taiwanese, and of course the neighborhood communities are included. The theory of change is young newcomers from Hong Kong and the Hong Kongers in the States face the lack of support in resources to understand the political aspects in Hong Kong. In general, there's a lack of education about the current situation in Hong Kong. The Hong Kong Hub is committed to helping by providing some variable information to the diasporic Hong Kongers through food, cultural, and forum events. The business model of Hong Kong Hub will be non-profit, 501c3, with earned income, 
The revenue will come from the food or the snack or any sale items like artwork, t-shirts, sweatshirts containing message about Hong Kong. And of course, we will seek for public donation too. And the online shop of those products will be considered too. The challenge of this Hong Kong hub will be the rent is very expensive in New York City. The restaurant business is very competitive in New York City, especially Chinese food or uh, food from Hong Kong. The political situation in Hong Kong is complex, as I mentioned about the national security law. So this is the business model canvas for the Hong Kong hub. The key partners will include different NGOs or organizations uh, for the Hong Kongers in the state and some of the online shops who sell products about Hong Kong. The key activities will be the food, art and music or any forum about the cur current situation of the Hong Kong. The key resources will be the venue and all the uh, staff course and volunteers. And the value proposition, as I mentioned before, will be providing a space for this Hong Kong community and also provide a unique culture and also this forum can discuss about the current situation of Hong Kong. The customer relationship, we would like to engage them in the different event in order for them to support the Hong Kong. Uh, the channel we'll use will be mainly social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, website of work of mouth, or even the YouTubers. Customer segment will be the Hong Kongers in New York and anyone who is interested in Hong Kong. The donors that have passion for Hong Kong. Uh, the cost structure will be the rent, the salary for the staff, and the volunteers' time. Finally, the revenue streams, the supporter would like to try the authentic food and enjoy the cultural aspect of the hub. So they will pay for the product with the message of the Hong Kong in order to support the course and our work. Although I do not have a detailed spreadsheet of the financial aspect of the Hong Kong hub, I understand that the rent for the venue will be really expensive and the salary for the staff, especially after COVID times, and also the cost of the product or the volunteer time. The revenue will be mainly coming from the food selling, the product that we sell, an event ticket, a donation from the public or any funders, and I would like to apply any grant or foundation to support the new Hong Kongers too. Um, as I mentioned before, the financial situation can be stressful because the cost is very expensive, it's competition and the political situation. Scale. I've never heard a large community center for the Hong Konger globally. I heard there's a space in Europe. And currently in the Bay Area of the Northern California, some people are establishing a sports community center. They offer free hours for the Hong Kongers to come together and play basketball or badminton. There are other community centers from the Taiwanese or the Tibetans, which I can reference too. The problem of scaling are not every state in the United States has large numbers of Hong Kongers, and it is difficult to run a Chinese restaurant or a shop. The mission and vision of the Hong Kong hub need to be clear for the customer and the staff and the team member as the political situation in Hong Kong changes drastically. So at this moment, I plan to start a brainstorm section with the local communities, some of the Hong Kongers, volunteers, and teammates. And hopefully down the road within a year, um, I can start to establish this Hong Kong hub. And thank you very much for listening to my presentation.